Hola. So we are going to take a look at some of the affirmative and negative expressions um, that exist in Spanish. Um, in English, these are words like anybody, nobody, sometimes, always, um, either or, things like that that you, you're working on learning in the chapter right now. So um, what I have here, we have eight sentences and the instructions are for you to change those sentences so that they are the opposite. So if it's an affirmative sentence, you should change it to make it negative. If it's a negative sentence, please change it to make it positive. So will you please just pause the video now and so that you can jot down these sentences real quick because when we start up again, the next slide will be the answers. Okay, after the pause. So, let me just quickly read through all of these sentences as they exist, and then we'll go to the slide which has them changed to their opposite. Diego nunca corta el césped los sábados. So, the opposite is Diego siempre corta el césped los sábados. So, the first one said Diego never cuts the lawn on Saturdays, and so the opposite of that is he always cuts the lawn. So, you use the word for always, siempre. Okay, back to the original sentence, sentence for numero dos. Mi mamá necesita comprar algo en el mercado. My mom needs to buy something at the market. So, the negative or the opposite of that, mi mamá no necesita comprar nada en el mercado. So we're going to make this a negative by adding two negatives. We're going to say that she doesn't need to buy nothing at the market is essentially what we'll be saying with that. Número tres. Nadie va a ir a recoger a mi suegra. Nobody is going to pick up my mother-in-law. So the opposite of that is going to be um, somebody, or maybe everybody, would be another possible opposite. Um, somebody is going to pick up my mother-in-law. So, alguien va a ir a recoger a mi suegra. Somebody, someone, is going to go pick up my mother-in-law. Original sentence numero cuatro. Mi sobrina pasa la aspiradora a veces. So, my niece runs the vacuum cleaners sometimes. So, the opposite of sometimes will be never. So, we'll um, put in the no, the, the double negative there again. So, mi sobrina no pasa la aspiradora nunca. Cinco, miralla seca o los platos o los taz las tazas, sorry. So right now it says that Mireya dries either the plates or the cups. So um, the negative would be that she doesn't dry either of them. So Mireya seca ni los platos ni las tazas. Seis, aquí no hay ningún lugar interesante. Here there isn't no interesting place. There's a negative sentence for you, so we're going to change this negative to a positive. So, aquí hay algún lugar interesante. Here there is an interesting place, or some interesting place is how that might be translated. Siete, Rita va a ir a Honduras y yo voy a ir también. So, Rita's going to go to Honduras and I am going to go to so the negative would be Rita no va a ir a Honduras y yo, I should have put no voy a ir tampoco. I forgot my no in there. So again, Rita no va a ir a Honduras y yo no voy a ir tampoco. And I'm not going neither. Double negatives. Ocho, nosotros tenemos algunos amigos de Honduras. So we have some friends from Honduras. So we're going to say we don't have no friend from Honduras. The thing about ninguno, um, the negative of that, instead of saying no friends, I don't, we don't have no friends, we'll reduce it to the singular. So we're going to say we don't even, it's like saying we don't even have one friend. So nosotros no tenemos ningún amigo de Honduras. All right. Sigan adelante. Keep it going. Hasta luego.